Hello and welcome to Racks, guys. So uh, in this session, today we're going to talk about how to set up uh, Unity Remote 5 in your mobile. So in today's session, uh, I'll be using uh, Redmi, uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 uh, as the device. So let's get started directly. So here I have an empty scene here, uh, a new project with an empty scene in um, Unity, Unity 5. Here I'm using Unity 5. So let me go ahead and just create a simple um, plane here. Okay, I have a plane and uh, let me just have a simple cube as well. Yep, so I have a cube. So now we have a simple scene. And uh, now let's uh, get started with the setting up uh, of the Unity Remote 5. So um, there are two things which are involved here. One is connecting your Unity from your computer to your uh, Unity in your mobile. In order to do this, you need to have Unity Remote 5 mobile application in your uh, mobile phone. It should be an Android device. So in your uh, mobile phone and just install it. I'll just show you how to do that. But before that, let me just go ahead to edit and um, project settings and under editor, uh, make sure that uh, the Unity Remote uh, device is mentioned as any Android device. Uh, usually by default it will be mentioned as none, so I'll just want you guys to make it to any Android device. So that's it. Uh, so just uh, so the setup with your computer is ready. And now let's get to your um, mobile phone. Just click on uh, Play Store in your mobile and go to your uh, search bar and type in as Unity Remote 5. And you get this first option here, which is Unity Remote 5. Here I have already installed it. So uh, if you haven't installed, it will be mentioned as um, install it. So you can just go ahead and install it. And when you open Unity uh, Remote 5 in your uh, mobile, you can see it's mentioned as connect this device uh, with a USB cable to your computer. So this is connecting your mobile phone and your um, uh, computer. So before doing all these things, we need to set up few things in your mobile itself. So go to your uh, settings you'll be uh, having an option called additional settings. In that, uh, just go ahead and scroll down and see if you have an option called as developer uh, options. If you don't, which means we have to set it up, go back, uh, select the option about phone and under about phone, you'll be having an option here called your mobile version, which is uh, in, in this case, it's uh, Redmi. So it's MIUI uh, version. So just go ahead and keep tapping on it. It depends on your device. So uh, it will ask you to tap like five times, six times or even 10 times. So just go ahead and keep tapping on it. And finally, you will be uh, given a message as uh, successfully you're a developer. So once after uh, you get the message as you are a developer, now uh, go back uh, to your additional settings. And now you should see the option here called as developer options. Click on it. And here under developer options, uh, you have to enable this uh, developer options and you'll be asked to uh, authorize it so just click on ok and also you have to enable this option here called as usb debugging and yes now again click on ok and that's it so um, successfully we have installed our uh, unity remote 5 in your mobile so now let's go ahead and connect my uh, usb cable uh, to my mobile device and when you connect it you should be able to see this option here called USB debugging connected. So only if you see this, which means the configuration is right. So right now I can see it and successfully we have configured it correctly. So now let's get back to our desktop Unity. So now we have uh, the setup ready in both our mobile and as well as in your uh, uh, computer. So let me just uh, click on uh, Unity Remote 5 in my uh, mobile. And now make sure that your mobile device is connected to your uh, system. And as well as uh, when you look at your mobile, you should be having this option enabled as USB debugging connected. So that's it. So now let me just go ahead and uh, play this. So yes, so now we can see uh, what's happening in my computer screen uh, on my mobile screen. So that's it. So we have successfully configured our uh, Unity Remote 5 in your mobile. So that's it for this session and I'll catch you guys with another interesting topic then. Bye-bye.